Well, my greetings and blessings to everyone who is viewing this um, video from home during our Totus Tuus online camp this summer. I was asked to give a little bit of my story um, of my vocation to the priesthood and now to becoming a bishop. I grew up in a large, devout Catholic family in a mining area on the Iron Range in northern Minnesota. And it was very normal for us to be a part of things at church. Sunday Mass, um, dinner as a family after Mass. My grandmother would always make dinner uh, at her apartment or at her house. And um, Sunday was just really a time to be at the parish and to participate in the life of the parish and especially, of course, Sunday Mass. And that was an anchor for our week. We also, of course, prayed at home. And as time went on, I, I don't remember this, but my parents said I was very fascinated by the priest at the altar when I was very young. And then later on, I had this idea that somehow a uh, priest didn't have to go to college, <laughs> which was very wrong. And I thought, well, that's great. I'll skip college and just be a priest, you know. And I found out you have to go to college and much, much more, of course, to um, get educated and formed for the priesthood. That was kind of in my middle school years. And then in high school, um, my family belonged to a charismatic prayer group, and I participated in those prayer meetings to a certain extent, and I start, started to feel something more personal, you know, a draw from the Lord to consider the priesthood. I was in public high school, played on the football team and all of that, so it took me some time to build up the courage to tell my friends that I was thinking about that. Uh, but after I talked to the priests and my family, the feeling just didn't go away. And so I went off to one of these um, visits to the seminary with the vocation director and a few other uh, young men from the Iron Range that were considering priesthood, including now Father Jim Bissonnette, who's a close friend of mine and the administrator of our diocese until Bishop-elect Malloy is ordained October 1st. And we went down and um, visited the college seminary and I kind of was interested in that and just kind of checked it out and graduated from high school and made the decision to try and uh, start at St. Thomas at St. John Vianney Seminary. For me, you know, it wasn't a big dramatic thing. It was this gradual building, you know, sense that the Lord was calling me and it would just never go away. And every time I tested it, it stayed there. And as I pursued priesthood and the studies that go into um, being a seminarian, I liked all of that. And so it just kind of gradually, organically grew. And after um, eight years in the seminary, actually more like 10, uh, because I did some graduate studies as well, I was ordained a priest on September 29th in the year 1989, 31 years ago, uh, for the Diocese of Duluth. And um, I've been in parish work ever since, some special assignments by the bishop from time to time as well, but uh, basically a parish priest. And it's felt very much you know, like my, my life, it, um, very much at home doing those things. And when the nuncio called about eight weeks ago and asked if I would become the Bishop of Rapid City, I was really kind of surprised by that, but also excited that God was calling me to a new stage now in my vocation. So I'm just about to launch into that with all of you. And so I, I look forward to getting to know you and continuing to uh, discern the Lord's call as we together uh, build up the church here in Western South Dakota. I have lots to learn, such a beautiful place and so much history here that I look forward to uh, meeting all of you and your families and your parishes and uh, seeing what God has in mind for us.